and hello YouTube today I am unboxing and using this little um, connector uh, is the APB 131 for instrument clusters for VAG MQB instrument cluster reading um, all keys lost so you've got this little connector here right which comes from this end right and it's going to link with this motherboard this circuit board you push it in here it interlocks there and when you're doing your read you must have your 12 volt power supply to be able to fully read if you do not connect this you get an error all the time so that's the apb 131 so there's a big misconception guys with this APB131 uh, some people saying it does not require any desoldering or whatever you will need to desolder some as you can see there's a little capacitor here that I've had to desolder and after my read I will have to reinstall this back on the circuit board so there is a lot of other soldering and other things to be done so we go into emo right and you go into Volkswagen you click OK right we go to expert selection and mqb instrument cluster this cluster is from vw passat b8 and it's a mqb cluster right so you have to take it apart as you can see so we get to this point where now we have to choose ours is a V850 and it's locked. So we are reading it via dump. Right, it tells you function should be used in combination with a programmer. That's our programmer and APB131 adapter that's our APB131 adapter all right so follow the wiring diagram for operations it may involve certain risks it is quite risky as you can see but anyway so we we okay all that right now we get to the part that you need to know exactly the type of board you have so later on in the video I'll show you how you find or how you read the information on your chip okay so this is the one we want right and then we want to read this chip this data via the programmer okay so we want to read via the programmer so it's that option right here so we click
Mm -hmm. So now we get to the part where we have different types of clusters. And guys, you really need to be careful. You really, really need to be careful because there's so many different types of clusters. There's one, two, three, four different types. Okay, so you look closely and identify yours. Um, and again, like I said, all the information is on the chip. So let me just show you this one is A. So this is... This is my kind of cluster. Okay, so it tells you there in this T1 area. All right, this T1 area, this is where the capacitor came from. This little one here. Okay, so that's where it came from. And just want to show you one other thing while I'm still here. Okay, so the operation guide, connect the programmer to the APB131, all right, with reference to the method shown in, in the figure. Okay, that's what I was just showing you there. And then remove the capacitor in the T1 area right and that capacitor should be installed back to its original position upon completion so that's something to take note of very important guys so we okay that and we are connecting to the programmer it's going to start flashing green and it's flashing red as well so now we are reading data it may take up to five or thirty minutes so there we go i don't think this will take 30 minutes it's moving along real quick So we're using the Hotel IM548S. So as long as we are flashing green and the red light is on, we are reading data. Back here we are 44% and moving so to complete the whole process of making a dealer key you will need the mqb license um, but of course if you are just adding a key if it's just adding a key you can do it straight away without any you won't need any subscription to the MQB or you won't need to buy the MQB license. All right, so in my case, I do not have the MQB license. So I'll just go as far as retrieving the CS code on this video. This is very, very high security immobilizer system, really sophisticated and requires a lot of experience so we are done reading 
So we'll save that. And we are saving our newly read data. Seems to take time. So the flashy lights on there have gone, just gone idle. Taking its time to save the data. And remember, you must be connected to the internet all the time when you do these procedures. That took time, but we have saved our data, so we click OK. Right, so now we need to calculate the EMO data. So we go there, calculate EMO data. Select the two below the chip data by program OK. So MQB and we click OK. It's loading the file. Then it's calculating. Decoding has succeeded. Do you want to save the emo data? Yes, we do. Right, we just click save. And it tells us where it's been saved. We click OK. And there we are, guys. We have the VIN number. We have the CS code. And number of keys is two so that's one and two keys on this car the rest are blank the rest are blank so guys this is how you read mqb instrument cluster using the hotel im548s along with the APB 131, that's our cluster. So dismantling is just a matter of lifting this up and pulling this out like so. And then this board, you lift gently And then that's how it goes. It just goes to sit straight like that. And then on the other side of the board, so these are the two connections on this side, right? So if we flip it over, we have this little connector again, which we can just easily pull out like so. Right, you pull it out like that. And so you will see that what we're left with is just these two cables soldered on. So as we come to this side of the board, it's these um, 
we have one, two, three, four, five connections. So it's one, two, three, four, five connections. And I always like to hold them down with a bit of tape just to keep them secure. So that's the um, the type of instrument cluster that I am working with. And I did say I would show you where to get the data, the numbers, uh, sorry, the numbers for, for your read. So you use your magnifier and you come down here. This is where you get, I can see D70F3526 and yeah, so you use your magnifier just to take your part number and then in those pictures you need to verify which this is where you need to look closely to see which one or to pick out the correct cluster for yourself from all those choices so like i said we can only go as far as um, just retrieving that data calculating it and seeing our vin number and um, the key data and everything else so where we go to make the dealer key it's going to ask do you have an original key and in this case it's a no we do not have so this is where the road ends because we need to have this number to put in to generate the key so this is where i said you would need either an mqb license or if you just want to add a key you can proceed if you have an existing key so in our case we do not have an existing key and this is where it ends so i'll just click escape and we come back so thank you for watching